We are winding down the Olympics oh. and um, I'm, I'm actually going to be very sad when I see those closing ceremonies. I have enjoyed it so much. All the games, uh, the way the U.S. has just dominated and we're here to catch you up in case you've missed any of it overnight, which most of us have. Kara is here with It's All Good, It's All Olympics stories. Yes, Thank I cleaned out my closet of all the red, white and blue. I love this it. This morning. Kara, I saw her yeah. when she walked in uh -huh. the green room and I was like, I have a red, white, and blue dress. Why? We didn't right. discuss. I know, sorry. But this I, is amazing. Well, you did send me a picture of her dress this morning. I thought it was blue and white, so I thought that's what you were wearing. I decided not to. Okay, with we the still last look great. Moment. It's fine. Yeah, anyway. Well, next week. Because you know what? It's never the wrong day to rep the red, white, and blue. You that's right. Saying? That's we'll very do it true. Next week, too. Yeah. All right, let's get caught up on what you might have missed last night. Have you ever heard of these ladies, Misty May Trainer and Carrie Walsh Jennings? Well, they were not at the Olympics this year because a new duo has emerged. And not only have they emerged, they just won. Yes! Kleinman and April Ross beat the Australians in the gold medal match. Our women's sand volleyball team is so dominant that they have medaled in every yeah, Olympics since 1996. Now, it's Alex Kleinman's first time on the podium, but April Ross has won a bronze and a silver <gasps> at previous Olympics, yes. one being with her partner, Carrie Walsh Jennings, in 2016. Her and Carrie also have a record for being the oldest, and I'm saying that in quotations, Kara. females to win beach volleyball <laughs> at just 39 years old. Wow. Yes. Another fun fact is Kleiman and Ross are also the second duo after Misty May and Carrie Walsh to go undefeated at the Olympics, meaning they never dropped a set. Mm. Trainer and Jennings did that not once, not twice, but a three times. Yes. You believe that? Incredible. And I was hearing this morning as I was doing my makeup, catching up on the sure. Today Show, but not wanting to catch up too much because I knew Kara would really fill me right, in, right, right. that it was super hot. Like, temperatures were more than 100 degrees, over 100 degrees. And, I mean, the, fa the sand was piping hot. Who cares? These women are in the zone. They were in the gold zone. It and is. It was I fabulous. can't even tell you watching any of the sports as I sit on my couch and air conditioning. Yeah. I cannot get over the. I mean, they're dripping sweat. Yes. It's hot to the sand. I, how do they? I mean, I don't know. They're just anyway. warriors. They are warriors. That's true. This is That's what why they they're are there. trained I'm here. their whole lives to, to do. Mm -hmm. And um, just absolutely incredible. Yeah. And their physiques. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go like that. But I was just thinking about like their tiny. The bikini body. Oh, oh man. Man. So, so it's really so pretty. pretty. I gotta tell you, something Fit. else that's really Fit. something with a 10 pack, a 12 pack abs oh, yeah. is Katie Najot or Najat. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so I will say Najot Najat. But she uh, did not even know if she would make it to the gold medal round. She stumbled on that first pass, but luckily you get three. She nailed it. She gathered her focus, Look and she was the last woman flying because she also won gold. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. Look at this picture. A little bit about her journey. She lost her father when she was 16 in 2007. She thinks about him every day. She jumps for him every day. She put dad on one shoe, papa on the other. And if you've ever watched one of her uh, matches, you will see her click the inside of her feet. She kind of taps them with her toes. And she said it's to remind herself Aww. of each of them before she goes on her run. Um, you know, I, I don't know, it's just such a, a great story. Um, she's an Ohio native. She actually trained here at the Atlanta um, Athletic Club. But um, I, I ran into my uh, girlfriend, Deborah when I was watching it on my phone at the park. And I was like, I, I said, I'm crying and laughing so hard because if I tried to hold that javelin, I would just Can fall you immediately over. I couldn't even run with it. Right. And then she was saying, like, she could barely hoist herself into her car, and we were just laughing yeah. so hard because we were like, we, the, what is happening? Pure These athleticism. Are amazing. I know they are. They run so, I mean, I would just do it. it. It's incredible. Can I just say, I'm putting your name to go to the Winter Olympics as a commentator. I would miss you here on the show. I mean, you sell these stories. I mean, they don't need to be sure, sold, but sure. you know what I mean? She yeah. gets me excited, you know? I can read. No, Kara. No. I really don't. appreciate that. You don't. I will miss you too, but that would be so fun. Where is the, where is where the is Winter the, Olympics? Where, where are the I Winter really Olympics? Okay. Oh my. Sorry, China? producer Haley's like, let's.
keep it okay, rolling. We'll okay, we'll find out. Because, we'll keep it you know who's next? Somebody else that you know I'm obsessed oh, yeah. with. Why are you so obsessed with her? Because she's amazing, Allison Felix. She took home the bronze in the women's 400 meters. That is 10 medals, making her the most decorated female Olympic track and athlete in history, tying her with yeah. somebody you may have heard of, Carl Lewis, for the most Olympic medals by a U.S. track and field athlete. Just Woo! incredible. Yes. Ebony clapped when you said bronze, which we I didn't mean to not, but I was like no. so intently listening and sure. she has all the medals. But I mean, what an incredible feat. It's also, just hot take. I mean, if you get a bronze and not the silver, you can kind of pass it as a gold. People are just glancing at all her medals. <laughs> she doesn't have to tell them it's bronze. But she has them on display at her right. house, right? And yeah. It's like, look, look, look quickly, all, and there look you go. Look at all these. No, I, I mean, so, so incredible. Wow, yeah. I'm so proud of her. And we still have mm -hmm. this weekend, and then closing ceremonies mm -hmm. are Sunday morning. Yeah, I can't wait. But keep up on all things Olympics mm -hmm. every day right here on 11 Alive or go to 11alive.com or just text Kara. Reach out to her. <laughs> Kara, what's happening? I can't wait. She's like pushing, I'm up. she's pushing lies on the swing while at the park <laughs> while she's, I mean, she's an intrepid reporter oh, yeah. like Taking you've notes. never seen.